Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here welcome my name is Lauren as you can tell by the title today we are just doing a quick and I mean quick easy last minute holiday tutorial and as you probably also saw in my thumbnail and the title we are going to be doing a giveaway in this video so stay tuned till the end to see all the exciting things I'm going to be giving away to one of you lucky people out there for Christmas so yeah without further ado let's just Let's get started. I'm a little out of practice. As you guys can tell, it's been a minute. Actually, it's been like an eternity since I have uploaded a video, but here we are starting off with something very simple that I hopefully cannot screw up. So I did my daily skincare routine, so I'm gonna be starting out with this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I haven't used this in forever. I kinda just wanted to sit and play with some products um, because I haven't been wearing that much makeup lately. So there's been some things that I like kind of forgot if I like or not. So I'm just going to kind of work this into my T-zone where I have the majority of my pores. And I like this because it is a little bit like moisturizing, I guess. And in the winter, oh my God, I'm bright red. Um, in the winter, I do tend to get a little bit more dry and I do get a lot of dryness like on my forehead, especially. So I'm just taking extra care to really rub that in. So for foundation today, I'm going with one of my old standby favorites. This is the Too Faced Born This Way. Um, this is a fabulous foundation. If you're looking for something a little bit more medium coverage, they have a ton of shades. It's a really, really great foundation. It's been around forever. You guys have heard me talk about it before. And I'm actually gonna try it on one of these goofy looking brushes. I got this in a boxy charm. I don't know what they're called or what the dealio is with this, but it's like a dome. I don't know. I think they're a dupe for those. What were those brushes that everybody was like obsessed with? Like the round one? They look exactly like this. Um, so I'm just gonna take like two pumps and I hope this shade matches me because I've been like in between self tanning and not, and I'm just kind of a mess these days. And this is the shade Pearl, in case you guys were wondering. Moving right along to a concealer, we're gonna be taking our Benefit Boying Cakeless Concealer. You guys know I'm obsessed with this. Um, and I have mine in the shade number three. This might be a little bit, mm, I think it'll be fine. We might have to go in and brighten it up a little bit. I think this might be a little bit too dark, but I didn't feel like getting anything else out, so. This is what we're using. And I'm just gonna take it on a synthetic brush. This is a Peaches and Cream PC30 brush. Um, it's kind of like a flat concealer. I don't know, it's a little bit fluffier than a concealer brush. But I'm just going to basically tap this in. With eyelash extensions, I like using a brush. I just feel like I have so much more control. I mean, granted, it does take a little bit longer to kind of get everything like carefully blended in, um, but I definitely do like using a brush a little bit more just because I find I don't cover my eyelashes in concealer and powder as much. Now to set my under eye, I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder and this is in the shade One Fair and I'm just going to take that on a really fluffy brush and just basically set my under eyes and this is all I'm setting at the moment. Nothing else yet because I am gonna go in and do a little cream bronzing. Um, but I'm just gonna set this where I basically don't want my foundation to crease yet. And I am gonna take some of this on my eyelid just to even everything out and make sure everything's really nice and matte. For cream bronzer, I'm using my Chanel Soleil de Tan, whatever expensive overpriced cream bronzer, but it's so good. Um, and again, I'm gonna try that on, actually this might be a little bit too dense. Mm, let's see, we'll try it. Um, another one of these BoxyCharm brushes, it is a little bit smaller and it is a little bit more like skinny, I guess. Um, so I'm just going to dip into there and I'm going to just pop this on. Oh, this one actually works nicely for this. So what I like to do when I'm cream contouring is I will tap it first and then I will go in and kind of smudge it out um, just so I can really place the color exactly where I want it to get kind of that nice sharp contour so I don't have to go in and do double duty and clean it up with powder again. I just find it cuts down on a little bit of the work and we're bronzed and it's pretty quick. I love this, it blends 
so perfectly. I love the color of this. Um, I think it's very natural looking. I can really only use this when I'm pretty fair. Um, when I'm tan, this is kind of like the color that I am. So it's okay for like a really subtle bronze, but they really need to make more colors of this. And I'm gonna go ahead and take that up into my temples and just do a really good job of blending that out. I'm just going to bronze my forehead as well, basically just hitting all the high points where we would normally powder bronze. And then on a really small blending brush, this is actually an eyeshadow blending brush, I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that and I'm going to contour my nose a little bit. And I always say this, I don't contour my nose because I don't like it. I just find if I leave my nose without a contour, it kind of gets lost in my face because of all the highlight. Um, so I like to kind of just add a little bit of depth back in. And I will actually contour all the way up to like my brow bone. And I will contour underneath my lip as well just to make them look really full. People always ask me if I get lip filler. I do not get lip filler. I say it in like every single video. It is honestly just the power of creating shadows. So I don't wanna go too crazy with the cream bronzer because I am going to set it so it stays in place. Although this does dry to a powder finish, you don't have to worry about it slipping and sliding anywhere. I still like to set it just for some extra staying power. Um, so I'm gonna use my good old fashioned Too Faced Chocolate Soleil um, bronzing powder. And I'm just gonna take a Morphe M581 brush, nothing fancy here, and I'm just going to Blah. Tap off the excess and go ahead and just reinforce that bronzer a little bit. Always make sure you are blending. So for blush, because I'm doing a red lip, I don't want anything too over the top. So I'm just going to take this Hourglass Blush in Brilliant Nude. And on an angle brush, I'm just going to kind of place this on my cheeks for just a really pretty flush. I think I want more of like a bronzy look um, to go with my, I love like red and gold, that combo of like having bronzy skin. And I am pulling that all the way back into my bronzer. This is like a no blush blush. It really doesn't show up. It just kind of adds like a really pretty sheen. Um, but I do really, really, really love it. So I am gonna go ahead and fill in my brows off camera just because it's such a snooze fest to watch, but I just wanted to let you know that I'm going to be using the Contrice Cosmetic Slimatic Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. I talk about these all the time. I'm obsessed with them. They're such a good creamy drugstore pencil. They're like six bucks a piece, amazing. Um, and then I'm gonna be setting it with the Too Faced Brow Quickie. Wow, I'm using so many Too Faced products, I'm realizing. Um, but this is just kind of like a tinted fiber gel and it is a little bit darker than the pencil. I like to use that so it kind of creates some dimension into the brows and they just don't look like flat painted onto my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and slap these puppies on and I will be right back. So we're also gonna be doing like the world's easiest eyeshadow look I've ever done in my entire life. It's literally two products, takes 30 seconds. So I'm gonna take the bronzer I use, and you can use any bronzer, it doesn't make a difference. And I'm basically just going to place this in my crease, just as like a nice wash of color, like so. Literally anybody can do this. And this is actually also what I do in part of my everyday makeup routine, just to add a little something so you're not completely washed out. Like I said, you really wanna create some shadows so that way you don't lose some of your features in like highlights because then you can look a little bit flat. And we wanna look healthy and alive. That's literally it for the crease color. Um, we're not gonna do any crazy blending or anything like that pretty much it. You can actually leave it like this. It looks really, really pretty, very natural and just like warm and healthy. Or you can add a little bit of shimmer if you'd like. So I have two products here that I really, really love. I wanted to give you guys like a high-end version and then a drugstore version. 
um, just a really pretty like antique gold kind of color. I don't know if you guys can see. These are very, very similar in color. One of them is the Tarte. Um, this is the Chrome Paint Pot in Martini. So this is kind of a cream shadow product. It's very shimmery. I think this one might be a little bit more yellow and this one might be a little bit more champagne, but really, really similar effects. Um, these are really, really pretty. You just use them on your finger and can dot them on your eyelid. Um, and then the second product that I have is actually this Wet n Wild Mega Jelly Eyeshadow, and this is in the shade Champagne Diet. I love that name. Um, so this is basically just a really pretty jelly shadow. It is somewhat of a mess to use, I'm not gonna lie, but it is just this stunning color. I love it so much. Um, and it goes on really glittery. It looks more metallic, but I will say it dries a little bit more glittery. And this dries to a complete matte. It doesn't transfer, it doesn't fall out or anything like that. And I actually did play with this product in a testing new makeup video and actually really, really enjoyed it. I was very skeptical. Um, so I'm just gonna take this on kind of like a flat concealer brush. I'm just gonna take a little bit. This guy's kind of dried out, I'm not gonna lie, I've had it for a while, um, but I really, really like it. So I'm just going to take a light amount on the brush and I'm just going to carefully pat this onto my eyelid. And you can be pretty messy with it because this is kind of just like a glitter, like top coat kind of almost. I don't know if you guys can see that. It reminds me of like the Hourglass shadow toppers or like the Natasha Denona like chroma pots. Is that what they're called? I don't know. But basically I'm just going to lightly disperse this all over my lid. And I love it because it kind of just peeks through my lashes and gives like a really pretty metallic effect. It's super easy to use. Like you literally cannot screw it up, I promise. Your placement doesn't have to be super detailed. And I'm kind of just flicking it up into the crease so it kind of just blends a little bit and I just think that's so pretty. It's just like such a subtle like sparkle. Love it. And if you're feeling that it's still looking a little bit too choppy, just go in with that brush that you used in your crease and just blend away. So again, if you want, go ahead, add a wing, add some mascara, false lashes, leave it as is, do your thing. But this is pretty much where I'm gonna stop just because I don't wanna overdo it because we are doing such a bold lip. I try and keep my eyes a little bit more neutral. So taking that bronzer again, I'm just going to take the same fluffy brush and just throw a little bit under the eye. This will just kind of warm everything up because we are pretty highlighted under there. And then I'm going to take my favorite bottom lash mascara. This is the Bad Gal Bang Mascara from Benefit. It's so good, I'm obsessed with it. It gives you like spidery long lashes. And I'm just gonna do a really quick I'm almost like tapping it onto my lashes just to give them a little bit of color. I don't wanna make them like too crazy because I'm not wearing any like eyeliner or anything like that. I just want them to kind of match the top because I do have so much fullness on the top. I think it looks a little like unbalanced if you don't do that. I'm gonna quickly set my face with the iconic London Prep Set Glow. You guys, this is my third one of these and I'm already almost out. If there's a setting spray of 2019, this is it. I'm obsessed with this. And it actually comes in another shade if you're worried that this won't work for you. There are two shades, I think, total. Um, this is in the shade, doesn't tell me, but it's like kind of the rose goldy one. Um, it's just such a shimmery, beautiful, oh, it's so good. You can use it, not in your hair. You can use it under makeup. You can use it in between makeup steps. It just makes you so glowy and beautiful. And I do overuse it. I'm not going to lie, but I love it. It doesn't like camel spit on your face or anything and leave you with like weird glitter flecks. So I want to, so before we move on to our last step, which is lips, I want to quickly highlight. So I'm going to be taking this Wet n Wild loose highlighter in the shade I'm So Lit. Um, this one just works best for my skin tone right now. It's kind of like a champagne -y gold color. Um, when I'm self-tanned, I can get away with the other one. This one is a little bit light for me, um, but I do still really, really like the formula of these. They are incredibly intense. I'm gonna take my Anastasia A23 brush and just lightly dip into the lid. 
and tap off a lot of the excess because with loose highlighters, I kind of want to control more where it goes and these tend to fluff all over the place. So I'm just going to like, are we serious? And I'm just going to start like feathering it. Then on a pencil brush, I'm gonna take a little bit more of that and I'm just going to pop it into my inner corner just to really take things one step further and brighten it all up. I love a bright inner corner highlight, it's my favorite. I think it just like completes the look and just makes you look so good. So I think when you're wearing a red lip or a bold or a deep colored lip, the most important thing is hydration and lip prep. So I'm going to go in with just a lip scrub. I don't know where my Ola Henriksen one is. I think it's in my travel bag. Um, but I'm just going to take this chapstick total hydration, like minty lip scrub. And I'm just going to really exfoliate my lip. Then I like to go in with the MAC Prep and Prime. This is my favorite lip primer. I have so many of these just like laying all over the house. And it's this what seems like a lip balm, but it actually dries very, very quickly. So you can go in and apply your lip color right away. And it just delivers such a quick burst of moisture. Doesn't take long, not over the top. One little extra step and makes your lip color look so good and lasts a really long time. I'm obsessed with these. I really, really highly recommend them if you're having trouble with texture on your lips. So for lip colors, I pulled three of my favorites that I wanted to just share with you guys. Um, and then I guess along the way, we'll decide which one we're actually going to be using. Um, but these are definitely my top three lip colors. And then for lip liner, I just have this Stila one um, in the shade Pinot Noir. I mean, it's just like a basic red lip liner. I definitely recommend using a lip liner when you're doing a bold lip. It kind of just makes it easier to stay in the lines and I will actually fill in my entire lip with the red lip liner so that way if my lip color wears off during the day, I do still have another layer of red underneath. Just wears a little bit nicer. So the first red shade I have is the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Uncensored. This is a fan favorite just because the formula is so good. The applicator is really, really cool. If you've never tried one of her liquid lips before, I highly recommend them. So I'm going to just swatch it for you guys so you can see what a stunning, like just true red this is. I would say this is definitely a very true red, more on the blue side, not necessarily like orangey or pink. I really, really love it. Then I have this Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in bang bang this is more of as you can tell not liquidy a more moussey texture they're very comfortable to wear i just find that they do wear a little bit quicker they don't last quite as long so that's it right there it's definitely a little bit more orange and very red and it goes on pretty matte to begin with you don't have to wait as long for it to dry as you do for the fenty one and then I have Dose of Colors Kiss of Fire. This is such a classic and it's so beautiful. But this one is definitely a little bit more neon and I would say this is more of your pinky red if that kind of suits your skin tone a little bit better. If you're looking for something a little bit brighter and more summery, I would say that Kiss of Fire is kind of more your vibe. But Kiss of Fire can also go a little bit darker if you pair it with a deeper lip liner. This formula is pretty liquidy and I would say a little bit more on the thin side. So you can get away with a deeper shade underneath and it will kind of peek through a little bit. I think I'm definitely going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint. I just cannot get enough of this color and I think I want something a little bit deeper today. Also when I'm choosing a brighter or bolder lip, I definitely like to stick with liquid lipstick formulas. If I'm going for a nude or something, I'm more inclined to use like a bullet lipstick, but I just find that these, you slap it on and you don't have to worry about it budging or going anywhere. I've had some interesting experiences where I've worn a really dark color and it's like ended up like up here and like all my teeth and stuff. I just find that this is so much easier to use. You use it and you don't have to worry about it later. Um, and it's very easy to clean up. You have really good control. So if you struggle with dark colors or bold colors, I would definitely practice with a liquid lipstick. I think you'll find it's a little bit more foolproof once you master it.
Alrighty, you guys, this is going to conclude my very simple last minute holiday glam. This is perfect for that holiday party you might have coming up. You could even rock this on New Year's, honestly. A red lip is always classic, very timeless. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a like down below and subscribe if you haven't already. Our family is rapidly growing and I'm very, very excited. We are so super close to a thousand subscribers here, which is just mind blowing to me. I started the year with like, I don't even remember how many, but it's just kind of taken off in such a crazy way. And I'm so very thankful for every single one of you for watching all of my videos and always supporting me. So, because I am so thankful to have you guys, I am going to be celebrating Christmas and my YouTube growth for 2019 with a little holiday giveaway. So if you guys are interested in entering, head on over to my Instagram. I will leave my Instagram information right here so that way you guys can easily find me. I will be posting the giveaway on my Instagram. It's just a little bit easier for me to track who entered and that kind of thing rather than doing it here on YouTube. So if you guys are interested, it's going to be a really, really fun giveaway. I'm going to be giving away Tarte. I have Juice Beauty, Ofra, Too Faced, Dominique Cosmetics. I have some really awesome stuff like this Tarte Pro Glow, three palettes. I have the Celestial Thunder palette. I have a Too Faced gloss, lots of stuff like that. I have a decent amount of products and I'm actually getting ready to do a second one sometime soon, I think. So make sure you're following me and stay tuned. I wanna do a ton more giveaways in the future. And yeah, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much. This has been an incredible year. Hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video.